hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to solve the class 8th board model paper which is released by the kseb board okay of 2022 and 23 so i'm going to solve the multiple choice questions related to it so before starting my video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new video so here you can see the first question is given as cube root of 125 is dash and the options are given 5 5 cube root cube root of 5 and root 5 square root of 5 so what is the cube root of 125 so let us factorize this okay 125 if you factorize you know that if the last number is 5 it can be factorized only by uh, 5 table okay so 5 twos are 10 2 will be carrying okay from here 2 will be carrying and 5 fives are 25 again 5 fives are 25 and 5 ones are 5 so we are having 3 in uh, sorry 5 into 5 into 5 that is 5 cube it will be 5 cube is nothing but 125 so our answer is b1 that is 5 cube okay similarly second one we are having a is non-zero integer m and n are the natural numbers and m is greater than n then a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to dash okay so here we need to open this identity we have studied a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m minus n so this will be the answer to your second one okay then the digits in the unit place of cube of 27 is dash so cube of 27 is given it means we need to cube this 27 cube means three times you have to multiply it three times 27 into 27 into 27 so 27 into 27 we are getting 729 and again once more if you are uh, multiplying 27 so we are getting this answer and what is the question asked the digit in the unit place so we know that this is unit place this is tens place this is hundred this is thousand and this is 10,000 okay so in the unit place we are having the uh, digit 3 so our answer will be 3 okay next the shape of the solid in the given figure is so we have to identify which shape of solid this is it is nothing but cone next formula to find the curved surface area of cylinder is so the formula we know it that is curved surface or area of cylinder is nothing but 2 pi r h Next question is sixth one. The list number to be multiplied to 243 to make it a perfect cube is. So we have to identify which is the least number we should multiply to 243 to make it a perfect cube. Okay. So we have to factorize this. Okay. 3 8s are 24 and 3 1s are 3. Then 3 2s are 6. 2 will be remaining. This one is 21. 3 7s are 21 again 3 9s are 27 3 3s are 9 and 3 1s are 3 so let us write this how many times 1 2 3 4 5 times so 5 times we wrote and we have to make the group of 3 3 terms so this is 3 terms and here we are left with only 2 terms again we need to multiply one more 3 to make it a perfect cube okay so to make this number a perfect cube we need to multiply one more number that is 3 Next question, seventh one. If the length, breadth and height of a cuboidal room are 12 meter, 8 meter and 4 meter. So, length will be equals to 12 meter, breadth will be equals to 8 meter and height will be equals to 4 meter as written here respectively. Okay. Then area of 4 walls is. We should remember that area of 4 walls means we are going to find the LSA that is lateral surface area. Okay. So, the formula to find lateral surface area is 2H into L plus B. So, substitute the values. 2 will be as it is. H value, we are having it to be 4. Okay. So, let us write 4. L value is nothing but 12. Okay. Plus B value is nothing but 8. So, 2 fours are 8 and 12 plus 8 is nothing but 20. So, 20 eights are 160 uh, square meter. So next question 81 the perfect cube 729 lies between the cube of this number. So we have to identify this 729 lies between which number. Okay. So the numbers are given here. So let us open this. Okay. Uh, by factorization method 3 2s are 6. What will be remaining? 1 is remaining. This will become 12. So 3 4s are 12 and 3 3s are 9. Okay. Then 3 8s are 24 and 3 1s are 3. 
3 2s are 6 2 will be remaining and 3 7s are 21 again 3 9s are 27 and 3 3s are 9 and 3 1s are 3 okay so here you can see So, I have written this 3 is how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Okay. So, 6 times I have written and I have grouped it into like this. Okay. So, 3 into 3 is 9. 3 into 3 is 9 and 3 into 3 is 9. So, what is the question here? The perfect cube 729. 729 is the perfect cube. But it lies between the cube of this number. One number, if we multiply it 3 times, we are going to get 729. So, that's what we have checked here. If we multiply 9, 9 into 9 into 9 3 times, then we are going to get the answer to be as 729. Okay, so the answer 9 comes in this one. So, this will be the answer. Next question. The central angle of the sector representing one third region in the pie chart. So, you know the pie chart, a circle will be present and in that uh, uh, charts will be there like you have to mark some... Uh, um, you have to mark some angles, okay? And you have to show this part is that, this part is that, okay? So, here, the central angle of the sector, central angle, the center angle will be equals to how much? 360 degree. And it is representing one third region of the pie chart. Means one third of 360. So, we have to calculate. So, three ones are three. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. And zero. 120 into one is nothing but... 120. So, the correct answer is C1 that is 120 degree. Next, 10th one. Diameter D of cylinder is equal to height. Okay. So, we have to remember that diameter D is equals to height. Okay. Height of the cylinder. Then, its total surface area is dash square units. So, we have to find the total surface area of this cylinder. So, let us see the solution. So, they have already given us that diameter is equals to Height, okay. So, we know that diameter will be equals to 2 times of the radius. Diameter, you know, this will be, if this is the circle, this is the complete diameter which is equals to 2 radius. This is 1 radius and this is 1 more radius. So, 2 times radius will be equals to h. Similarly, we can write our r is equals to, see here, if d is equals to 2r, then what will be r? If you take this to this side, it will become d by 2 is equals to r. So, our radius will be d by 2. Okay, so here we are having the uh, formula of TSA of cylinder, okay, that is 2 pi r into r plus h. So, 2 pi r is given, okay, r can be written as, as you can see here, r can be written as d by 2 plus h can be written as, which is equals to d, okay, h can be written as d. So, now what we will do is, we will cross multiply this. After cross multiplication, we will get, we will get, see here, d by 2 plus d is there. If you cross multiply here, we are going to get d plus 2d, okay, 2 into d is 2d divided by 2. So, d plus 2d is nothing but 3d by 2. So, 3d by 2, okay, 2 and this 2 is cancelled. We are left with 3 pi r and d, 3 pi r and d. Again, d, we know that it can be written as d is equals to c r. We know d is nothing but equals to 2r, okay. So, 3 2s are 6, we are having pi will be as it is, r into r is r square, okay. So, what will be the answer? As you can see the question here, the option B that is 6 pi r square will be the correct answer. Next 11th one, 4 cube can be expressed with the base 2 as, okay. So, 4 cube, we can write this 4 cube as, 4 we can write it as 2 into 2 and the whole cube will be as it is. So, if we open this, we are going to get 2 cube into 2 cube, okay, because this cube will be multiplied to this also and this also. So, this will be in the form of a to the power of m into a to the power of n, which is equals to a to the power of m plus n. a is nothing but 2 here and m and n is nothing but 3 and 3. So, 3 plus 3 which will be equals to 2 to the power of 6. So, the option d will be the correct answer. Next, 12th one. If sum of 4 cube plus 4 to the power of 4 plus 4 to the 
power of 5 is divided by 7 then the question will be dash so we have to find the question after dividing this okay so here they have given 4 to the power of 3 so we can write see 4 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 4 plus 4 to the power of 5 is divided by 7 so 4 to the power of 3 is nothing but 4 into 4 into 4 it is nothing but 64 as I have multiplied here okay 4 4 is a 16 16 4 is a 64 okay here 3 4s are there means 4 cube here 1 4 is extra so what I have done 64 into 4 we are going to get the answer to be as 256 so here 256 we are getting plus if we multiply 4 into 5 times okay so that we are going to get 1024 okay it is divided by 7 so if you add all these you are going to get 13 double 4 divided by 7 so let us divide this 7 1 are 7 7 1 are 7 6 is remaining okay 7 9 are 63 again 1 is remaining 7 2 are 14 so we got the answer to be as 192 so the option c is showing the answer as 192 next 13th one height and radius of the cylindrical shape water storage tank is 3 meter and 7 meter so height is nothing but 3 meter okay and radius is nothing but 7 meter respectively the cost of painting the curved surface at the rate of rupees 5 is dash okay so we have to find the cost of painting this curved surface area of the cylindrical water storage okay so curved surface area we are having the formula 2 pi r into h so 2 will be as it is pi value is 22 by 7 into r value is as it is we have got in the given okay they have given us the r value that is 7 into height is 3 so 7 and 7 is cancelled 2 into 22 is 44 into this 3 okay and if you multiply this we are going to get 132 meter square so now they have given us the cost for 1 meter so for 1 meter they are taking 5 rupees so for 132 how many rupees so what we need to do we need to cross multiply we need to multiply 132 into 5 so 5 twos are 10 0 and 1 will be carried 5 threes are 15 plus 1 16 6 and 1 is carried again 5 ones are 5 plus 1 is 6 so we got 660 rupees so here you got 660 rupees next question 14th one the, the general form of 1 into 1000 plus 4 into 100 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 100 plus 2 sorry 3 by 100 plus 2 by 1000 is dash so you can see the answer 1 into 1000 plus 4 into 100 plus 2 into 1 and one more term they have left here that is 0 by 10 because they have not given us divided by 10 directly they have given us divided by 100 so there is no number so i have taken here 0 okay 0 by 10 plus 3 by 100 plus 2 by 1000 so 1 into 1000 is 1000 plus 400 plus 2 1402 and when the division is taken it will be taken as point and this is nothing but 0 this is 3 and this will be 2 so the answer will be d1 okay then 15th one 3 cubes each of edge 4 centimeter so next question 3 cubes each of edges 4 centimeter are placed one adjacent to the other to form a cuboid okay so let me draw here if suppose this is a cube box okay and to this only they have kept one more cube box to make it a cuboid okay so now this is a structure of cuboid you can see adjacent means side by side we can say okay so three cubes were kept so this is first cube this is second one and this is third one three cubes are kept adjacent to one another to form a cuboid then the length breadth and height of resulting cuboid respectively are so we know that for this cube the length is four centimeter the height is 4 cm, the breadth is 4 cm, everything is 4 cm. Now you can see here the height is not increased because we have we have kept these two cubical boxes by the side. We did not kept it on the top. So height is not increased. Only the length is increased. If the length is increased then you are going to add all these. Okay. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 is nothing but 12. So what is L? Length is nothing but 12 centimeter okay so 
the answer which is relating to 12 centimeter length is b1 and c1 okay now let us see the breadth breadth is this part okay the back side part like this part this part okay this part is also not increased as you can see okay the cubical boxes will be like this the breadth is also not increased because only one cubical box is kept and we are not keeping it back to back to increase the length okay to increase the breadth it is only kept side by side so the breadth is also 4 okay so the breadth is also 4 and the height is also not increasing so the height is also 4 so which answer is suitable here this is length is 12 breadth is 4 and height is 4 centimeter next the graph that represent the relation between the whole of a circle and its part so one circle and its part is nothing but the pie chart the answer is pie chart next multiplicative inverse of 10 to the power of minus 5 so you know that multiplicative inverse okay so multiplicative inverse means you have to reverse this so it will be equals to 1 by 10 to the power of 5 if it is only 10 to the power of 5 it means this is plus 5 and this will be additive inverse to 10 to the power of minus 5 so the additive inverse of 10 to the power of minus 5 is nothing but 10 to the power of plus 5 and multiplicative inverse is 1 divided by 10 to the power of 5 next expanded form of 2x plus 3y whole square so this is equals to a plus b whole square formula so what is the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square so let us substitute here that is 2x plus 3y whole square so a square our a is nothing but 2x whole square plus 2 into a value is 2x and b value is 3y plus b square is nothing but 3y whole square so 2x whole square means 2 square is nothing but 4 and x square plus 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 3 is 12 12 and x and y is given xy plus 3 square is nothing but 9y square okay so what is the answer here 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square so next you can see here the value of 3 to the power of minus 1 plus 4 square plus 5 to the power of minus 2 whole to the power of 0 is dash so always remember anything if it is 100 number if it is 10,000 number 1 lakh number how many numbers may be uh, may it be any number when it is having the power of 0 then the answer will be 1 itself okay so the answer is 1 the last question of the mcq here that is monthly salary of a person is rupees 50,000 you should note this monthly salary of that person is how much 50,000 the amount spent on various activities is shown in the pie chart so I'll show you the pie chart the amount saved by the person is so we have to find out the savings of that particular person okay so here you can see the pie chart of that person okay so 9% he is using for the transport 23% as entertainment and 11% for clothes for savings he is using 6% for his house rent he is using 17% and for food he is using 34% okay so savings you can see here it is given as 6% okay 6% of savings okay so let us count now 6% of 50,000 rupees we have to find out okay so 6% means it will be 6 divided by 100 into 50,000 okay so if you divide this two zeros and two zeros we are left with 6 into 500 so it will be equals to 6 fives are 30 and this two zeros so the saving is nothing but rupees 3,000 so 3000 rupees means option A will be suiting here. You can see rupees 3000. So the answer here is rupees 3000. So I hope everything is cleared here. If you are having any doubts regarding this, I will uh, surely help you out. And the part 2 regarding the uh, remaining uh, question answers of 20 marks will be solved in my next video. So till then, stay tuned and stay connected. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.